let's learn a little bit today about how to up your game when it comes to creating a table of contents. And what you're looking at here is a pretty straightforward table of contents. If you want to learn about how I did the automatic numbering, I have a whole separate video about that and I will link to that in the cards in the comments. But what would you rather have? Would you rather have a table of contents like this, which does look professional and is appropriate for a number of applications, or would you rather have something that looks more like this? Now these are the same document uh, we just took two different approaches to the table of contents and one, this one, looks a lot more high-end, a lot more like you had a professional involved in the creation of it, where this one here looks like it's fine, it's professional, and it is straightforward, but this one really has a little bit more punch and wow factor. Both are achievable in Microsoft Word. You don't have to have a graphic artist and you don't even have to spend any money to make your table of contents look like this. So I'm going to show you the steps for how to do this table of contents in this video today. I am going to go over very quickly how to create the table of contents in the first place. So if you already know how to get this far, how to create the table of contents from what the default is that Word gives to you, then you can skip ahead and look for this slide. It says Get Vertical Photo. Just skip ahead in my video to the Get Vertical Photo slide. I'll show you where to get free graphics and then you can go through the rest of the tutorial from there if you want to save time. First, we'll do a quick overview of the steps. And you start by making sure that you apply heading styles in the Word document. And I'll go over this in a little bit more detail, but make sure that you're using your heading styles. Then you're going to get a vertical photo that will go down the left side of your table of contents page. Then you are going to insert your table of contents onto your page. And then you're going to customize the margins, font, and color of your table of contents. So let's take a look back at the document and I'll show you step by step how we got that done. So here we are in our Word document. I have already set up the headings throughout the document and I'm going to zoom out a little bit just to show you what this document looks like. And so I, this is not meant for you to be able to read. This is meant for you to just see the basic structure of the document. So we have headings and subheadings. I have some lorem ipsum, which is just gibberish text throughout. I've got some graphics in here. So this really could be any document that you're working on. And I want to take this table of contents and up my game a little bit. So the first thing is I'm going to make sure that all of my subheadings have a heading style. Now where you find the styles is up here in the middle on the, or your home ribbon and the styles box here. You can see the styles a little bit better if you click this little arrow and then your styles will dock over here on the right hand side and you can see here if I click, I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see a little bit more clearly the beginning of my document. Here is my introduction and you can see over here that heading one is selected. Now I have applied numbering and as I mentioned I have another video on my channel here that goes into detail about how to set up your heading numbering so that it is perfect. And so that's about a 10 minute video, so I won't go into it again here. But this is a heading one down here where it says pre-summary. This is a heading two, and you can see that that is highlighted here in the styles. Heading two and heading three. I've got a couple of those here in the document. Here's a heading three. Okay, so you can see that headings are selected. So if you don't already have that done, then go ahead and in all of your headings and subheadings, make sure you go through your document, highlight the text, and then set that heading level that you want that heading to be. Once your document is all set up, 
then you go to the top or wherever you can actually have a table of contents at the end that is totally fine and you go to references all the way here on the left table of contents and you can pick your format and insert it there into the page and you will get this table of contents here or one that looks very similar. I think in playing around and getting set up for this video, I was changing around some of the indentation, but you get the basic idea. It's a very black and white, very plain, straightforward table of contents. Now let's customize. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to pick a graphic because pictures, as they say, are worth a thousand words and they are also really um, something that reflects just a nice look for your document. So you don't have to spend money. There are several different sources of pictures. For example, you can get free pictures on sites like pixabay.com. You can pay for stock photography from sites like Big Stock Photo, which is a really economical site that I use all the time. Uh, that you can get a credit pack for about $49 and get a bunch of stock photos out of that. Or you can use a subscription service such as Envato. I've had a lot of recommendations to use Envato. So lots of different sources where you can get really nice professional photos. Today I'm going to use the free option Pixabay, which I recently started trying out. And there's some really good graphics that are available for absolutely no charge. Let's go over to Pixabay. And here is the Pixabay site and I typed in palm tree. I want to use a picture of a palm tree and a sunset and I want it to be in the vertical orientation. So I add that to my search parameters and as I look through this, oh here's a really nice one. So you click on this and you can either use the download or I prefer just to copy image and then pop back over to your Word document and then you can come in and paste. Now you need to show this picture who is boss because it is going to want to be inside of this text box of the table of contents that you just entered and you probably don't want that. So we are going to come over here to the right and you see this little arc rainbow looking graphic. It says layout options. You're going to click on this and click the bottom right where it says in front of text. Grab that and now you can show this picture who's boss. You can drag it anywhere on the page and I am going to fill my whole page with this graphic and then I am going to crop it down. So to crop, we will go to picture format, crop. You can use any photo. I just thought that these sunset uh, palm trees were nice. I'm going to zoom out so you can see the whole page. There we go. Okay, so now this looks a little funky because we are covering up our table of contents and obviously we don't want that. So we are going to come in and see my blinking cursor. I just clicked anywhere in the table of contents and you can see the cursor blinking on the text below. So I'm going to go to my references ribbon over to table of contents and I'm going to say custom. And this is really where all of the magic happens to up your game in a table of contents. So first of all, you can decide how many levels you want to show. Uh, the original version of this table of contents showed three levels. So you can decrease that down to two. You can either use the arrows or you can type in the number. It doesn't matter. And then you can go in and modify the margins. So I've decided that I want to use a bigger font for this table of contents and I only want to show my top level headings. 
So you can do any combination of numbers of headings that you want to do. Just keep in mind that you need to adjust your styles and your and your customization for each heading level. So just like you have a heading one, heading two, heading three, in your TOC headings, you have TOC1, TOC2, and TOC3. And guess what? Just as you would think, TOC1 corresponds to the heading one table of contents headings that it pulls in. TOC2 corresponds to heading two, TOC3, corresponds to heading three, and so on. So now you can modify, and you can pick a bolder font, you can pick different colors, you can italicize, you can underline, you can do just anything that your heart desires. So I'm going to go with Beavis, which is a nice, bold font. And I am going to make it 14 point to make it stand out a little bit more. And then I am going to change the color and I'm gonna pull something out of the picture. So let's go with a dark blue. I think that'll look really good. And you can, if you want to really customize your color, you don't have to stick with these colors that Word gives you. You can go into this more colors. And let's say I wanted something a little bit more purpley like that. Then you can certainly pick that and say okay and now you see your preview window is showing you what that heading one is going to look like and then if you want to go ahead and change your margins here you can do that here so if you go to format paragraph indentation let's go ahead and indent to the left 2.5 and say okay and you can see here in the preview that it has moved over to give room for this graphic that you have on the left. So let's see how we're looking now. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so we are almost there. Now it looks like, and now we are really getting somewhere. So. The last thing is to just put a little heading at the top. So I'm going to do that by inserting a text box. So we'll just go to insert text box. The word will drop in a text box. Again, you can show it who's boss by just left click on the arc or the rainbow layout options in front of text and you can type in contents and we are going to go to shape format and we will go to shape fill, no fill, shape outline, no outline. Let's highlight the text and make it the same font. So we'll make it that Bebus font that I like. And let's go with something nice and big. And we can move these things around here in a second. And let's go with a nice orangey color maybe that comes out. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, so at this point you can click back here into the page and move this contents and we want to make sure that the C and contents lines up with the left. I just think that looks nice. Whatever your preference is is absolutely fine. And you see these lines here, these will not print. These are just guidelines that Word is using. So don't worry about those. And there you have it. There's a really nice looking table of contents. As you edit this document, you can right click up here and update field and it will, it will update as you make changes. Uh, just like a regular table of contents, this is no different. It's just formatted more nicely. And so, like I mentioned, any font, any color, you can put lines, uh, you can 
customize it so that heading ones heading one sections have an underline after them and then heading twos are italicized and so on and so forth so this is just one example of the many that you can do hope this video was helpful to you if you would like a copy of this document just to be able to play with and see how I put this together you can get it by emailing freebies at ginanaren.com. I just ask that you subscribe to the channel, and this is on the honor system, so subscribe to my channel. Send me an email at freebies at ginanaren.com, and I will shoot you this template. Hope you enjoyed this time together, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great one.